Hi guys, I'm Song Kyung Long Guest. Oh, what? I didn't say action. Oh. <laughs> you said take four. I was going to say action. I was like, ah. take five. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> take six. <clears throat> Hi guys, I'm Song Kyung Long Guest. Welcome to Asian at Home and Happy Holidays. So for the holiday 2020, we all went through some tough times. You know, it was a very challenging year. I cannot wait it to be over, to be honest. And I'm so ready for a new start. But before that, we need to cook some, some killer holiday meal. So I'm going to show you how to make Korean braised, braised beef short ribs, we call kalbitjim, but a lot simpler and easier version of it that will go pair with any other side of dishes that you want to serve with. So let's get started. Bring a large Dutch oven or a thick bottom pot to the stove. Add 7 pounds of beef short ribs and I highly recommend to use beef short ribs that are 1.5 inch to 2 inch thick. So this nice and big chunk will take a little longer time to cook but when they are done cooking, it's, it's something special. You definitely want this to be nice and big chunk like this. And we are going to pour all the sauces. You can directly just pour the sauce into the pot, but I just wanted to fancy up a little bit for the holiday for the camera and everything. So in a mixing bowl, I mixed the one and quarter cup of soy sauce, one cup of honey. You could use sugar, but honey makes it really nice and shiny. The flavor really fantastic. Three quarter cup of red wine or rice wine. And lastly, one and a half teaspoon of black pepper. Mix everything together. Pour all that into the pot and then turn the heat to high and bring this to boil over high heat with no cover. Stir around and I'm cooking the short ribs with this sauce first. We're gonna add water later for braising, but I'm doing this so the ribs will absorb all the flavor first. Now pour four cups of cold water, bring back to boil over high heat. And now on, we are going to let them keep boiling for 20 minutes with no cover. And this is a great time to keep skim all the scums on the surface and some of the extra fats from the ribs. After 20 minutes, cover with the lid and reduce the heat to medium and simmer for one hour. While the ribs are simmering, we are going to chop 20 large cloves of garlic. You might think it's a little too much of garlic, but it's not. You can actually put a little more, like 40 cloves. All of the garlic is supposed to be really large cloves. You cannot count one clove of garlic when it's like really skinny and tiny. You know what I'm talking about, that type of garlic? That's not one clove, that's like quarter clove, okay? And three large sweet onions. Slice them into one inch wide. You could use regular onion, but I really love this sweet onion flavor in this kalbi jim, so I highly recommend. One hour later, the ribs are so tender and juicy, but it's not there yet. And if you want to, this is the time to skim most of the oil or fat on the surface of this kalbi jim. You can keep it if you want to, and you can skim me some of them if you want to, so it's totally up to you. I did like Three quarter of the fat, actually I skimmed it out. Start in the chopped garlic and the sliced onions. Cover back on and we are going to simmer additional 20 minutes. This is when all the magic happens. The onions and garlic and softens and melts their flavor to the beef and the beef just literally, without this 20 minutes, it's not gonna be that tender, melting in your mouth tender. Seriously, this is a magic 20 minutes. You can serve this beef short ribs with steamed rice, fried rice, or some fried noodles, or however you wanna serve. But usually in Korea, we like to serve this with steamed rice and kimchi. But this is a holiday, so I wanted to serve with something special, which is mashed potato. You might think mashed potato is really not that special, Sangyeong, but it is special in our house because we eat mashed potato maybe twice a year and one of the time is this time, okay? So it's very special. But if you don't know how to make killer creamy mashed potato, no, you cannot click this because I'm not going to upload on YouTube, but it's on my website. Go check it out on the description box. 
It is amazing. It's so delicious. Everybody is gonna go nuts for this mashed potato. Okay. You could serve them separately, but when you top this beef short ribs on top of the mashed potato, it looks even more festive. That's what I decided to do. Don't forget to pour the sauce all over the beef ribs. And because of this sauce, you don't even need to make extra gravy. This sauce is the gravy, and the gravy is this sauce is so delicious. And lastly, because this is Asian at home, we've got to what? Sesame seeds right on top to finish. You didn't have to, but I had to. Like, I have to. I've made this calvichin for three times during this holiday season this year. So uh, we've been actually stuffed and eating a lot of this calvichin. So there is no mukbang scene for this. But thank you so much for watching. And if you liked my calvichin Korean style beef short trip, braised beef short trip recipe, please give this video a thumbs up. And subscribe my channel for more inspirations and idea of Asian home cooking. Thank you so much for watching us. Watching us, like I, I'm so like watching me today because Jacob is there and Hanyu is here. <laughs> watching me today, and remember, you can always cook Asian food at your house, making it easy and fun. I'm Sanjang Longast, and this is Asian at home. And I will see you next time. Bye, guys. Mwah.